Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be adding our actual template to our website. And I'm not a UX designer, so I don't actually spend a whole lot of time trying to evaluate um, how to be like an, an artist. Uh, I'm, I'm really, I don't really have artistic creativity when it comes to colors and how they make people feel and stuff like that. Uh, so I leave that up to the experts in that industry. I consider myself more of a programmer as opposed to a designer. But um, there are some people that can do some really excellent designs and stuff like that. And, um, and Bootstrap makes that a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and use this simple freelancer Bootstrap theme, uh, which has been around for a long time now. Probably a million sites um, use this thing and probably don't even adapt it all that much. In fact, you see so many sites with this same alternating 100% width layout. It's actually it's a little bit annoying at this point because even major companies that can afford to you know try to push the envelope with their design just kind of fall back to a regular bootstrap and be like everybody else so um, either way we're not going to go into that too much but this is going to be our starting point so at least we can then um, just kind of adapt some of this stuff and, and really just follow the flock of people that do the same thing so um, I mean it, it is professional and unfortunately if you don't do that unless you're a real good designer you're going to end up spending a ton of time um, trying to trying to build something that probably won't even look this good once you're done so it's um this will save us a lot of time by just using something like this, and it is completely free. So what we would do, if you wanted to use a different template, you could always try to follow along uh, similar to what I'm doing here. But we're going to download the template, and it's actually going to download an entire directory, which will contain um, CSS files and JS files and all kinds of different stuff. Um, so it has, like, even a font awesome. And they actually have image IMG instead of images. I really hate that. But that's fine. Now they even have less and all this stuff. You know what? For right now, we're going to take the entire thing. Uh, at least all this CSS and mail, every all the directories inside there, let's go ahead and extract that. And we need to find our project so that we can extract it to the right directory. We're going to be extracting it to the static directory in our Flask project. So here's I'm, I'm in my static directory. And let's just go ahead and say OK. Now one thing we need to do is we need to pull up the directory. And since we have an images file, a folder, let's get rid of our images folder. We'll just go with the IMG for images instead. OK, so we now have all these files. Now we need to put the template inside of our uh, templates folder. So this index is going to be extracted to the same thing static except for static it's going to be templates so change the static word to templates so now index lives under our templates folder and you can see we now have index let's go ahead and change our project so instead of pointing to this add user let's have it point to the index folder or file and typically with projects um, you're going to find that the home page is called index so we'll go to our app.py and this index will change from add user to index. Now things probably aren't going to work right out of the box, but let's go ahead and take a look here. So you can see that we have all these um, these 500 errors, or really, I'm sorry, 404 errors. That means page not found. So there's a ton of stuff in here that, that can't be found. And the reason why is it's trying to point to like uh, image and all this stuff instead of static image. Everything sits in our static folder. So all these directories that it's trying to point to need to be changed to static. So really, the first place we're going to do to try to update some of that is we need to pull up our index index file. And here with my project, I actually need to um, add this explicitly by saying add existing item. And then add my index so it shows up here. So if I double click on it, I can now see the contents of that file. And we need to go ahead and change all these paths that that can't be found starting with uh, this one 
needs to be forward slash static. The forward slash um, initially means root directory. So we know that static is always going to exist in our root directory. If we start embedding templates into other folders, like we have a folder for movie templates and user templates and all that other stuff. If I don't do that forward slash, um, it's going to be, you can end up having path problems. So it's always good to try to have an, an absolute path from your root directory. So let's just copy this entire part, just control C and copy it because we're going to be replacing that uh, for every other URL that we find here. So really, let's look for all the images in our template. Shoot. So any, any um, image source, we need to append that so that the image can be found. So we're just going to go through the uh, through this uh, entire folder and change all those sources so that way they can find the, the images. All right, so now um, we're going to make sure we go all the way down to the footer because a lot of times they'll have, yeah, here's another image down here. All right, so we're getting there. All right, then we need to change all these paths so they can be found. All right, let's go ahead and see how many 404 errors we get now since we've changed all those paths. All right, looks like we have some uh, some images showing up, so that's that's, that's good, I guess. That's partly good. Um, so now it's saying that it's still missing the bootstrap, so I'm not sure why I missed that. Let's look for bootstrap in here. Oh yeah, I missed it right here. All right, so we'll add the, this to both the CSS files. Save it and let's go ahead and try to refresh it again, see what kind of results we have. All right, so that's starting to look like a much better website now. Yeah, in fact, it looks like we're, uh, we're done. All right, guys, sweet. So now we have a professional-looking template being rendered by Flask, and it didn't take us very long at all. All we had to do was find a free template, download and extract it to our static directory, and then change all the endpoints that point to folders that, um, that need to be pointed to, like JavaScript and CSS and images. And by doing that, we now have this working application that we can, or a working template that we can start to kind of mold uh, to our individual needs. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.